I just want to talk very quickly to um, clear up some confusions about how we make things plural. So if we're talking about one town, then we are talking about two towns, or three towns, and we just pop an S on the end. What we don't do is pop an apostrophe S on the end. If we are talking about bike, a bike, then it is two bikes. It is not apostrophe S. So you're probably getting the, the point here. If we are talking something that actually ends in S, so glass, you don't just go glasses, you actually say glass is, so es. So when it already ends in that s sound, then you um, then you end it in es. And there are actually no so a bush is just bushes, bushes. I wonder, bushes, bushes, no bushes. So there you go, that gets an es as well. Isn't that interesting? Now it's just a little experiment. So obviously it's not as simple as as um, ES when it's just that S, S sound at the end. So some words just get an S, some get an AS. Um, and I'd better come back and work out what the difference is for you. There is one time you can put an apostrophe, however. Some people write DVDs like that, but it is valid to write it like that too, with the apostrophe. I think it's a little bit misleading because we don't generally use apostrophes for it, but you might, if you're talking about Scrabble, say how many S's there are on the board. I'm not crazy about it, but I recognise that S's like that looks really strange. So I think in that case it's probably justifiable. But generally speaking, you should not say, you know, I put on my glasses. That is that is not acceptable. It's glasses. You know, um, you know, likewise, you don't go and feed your horses. You just feed your horses. So hopefully it clears that up. And I'll have a bit of a look at that thing about when we use AS because I suspect there's a, a rule there that's just not coming to mind.